Sugar is a type of carbohydrate that serves as a crucial source of energy for the body. There are two main types of sugar, glucose and fructose. The primary role of sugar in the body is to provide a quick and easily accessible source of energy. Glucose is a simple sugar. It is a key fuel for cells, especially those in the brain and muscles. It is efficiently converted into energy through various metabolic processes. The brain relies heavily on glucose for energy. Adequate sugar intake supports cognitive function, memory, and overall mental performance. Sudden drops in blood sugar levels can affect concentration and mood. Muscles use glucose for energy during physical activities. Consuming carbohydrates including sugars helps replenish glycogen stores in muscles, supporting endurance and optimal performance during exercise. Sugar is involved in various cellular processes. It provides the necessary fuel for cells to carry out essential functions including growth, repair and maintenance. Sugar is a key player in body's metabolic processes. Insulin is a hormone produced by the pancreas, helps regulate blood sugar levels, allowing cells to absorb and use glucose for energy. Disruption in this process can lead to conditions like diabetes. Despite its importance, excessive sugar intake can have negative effects on health. Consuming too much added sugar, especially in processed and sugary beverages, can lead to various health issues. High sugar consumption has been linked to an increased risk of chronic conditions such as type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So what happens if you stop excessive sugar intake? Excessive sugar consumption often leads to increased calorie intake. Consuming more calories than the body needs can result in weight gain. A study published in the journal Obesity in 2009 found that reducing added sugars contributed to weight loss. When you consume high amounts of sugar, your blood sugar levels spike and then crash, leading to feelings of fatigue. Cutting back on sugar helps to stabilize blood sugar levels, providing more consistent and sustained energy throughout the day. The study in Appetite in 2016 demonstrated that lower sugar intake is associated with reduced fatigue and increased alertness. Excessive sugar intake is a recognized risk factor for the development of type 2 diabetes. The systemic review and meta-analysis in the BMJ in 2014 indicated that higher consumption of sugar-sweetened beverages is associated with an elevated risk of developing type 2 diabetes. The link between added sugar intake and cardiovascular issues is well established. A study in JAMA Internal Medicine in 2014 found a strong association between added sugar intake and an increased risk of cardiovascular disease mortality. Sugars are primary contributor to tooth decay. The American Dental Association emphasizes the role of limiting sugar intake in preventing cavities and maintaining good oral health. For individuals with diabetes, managing blood sugar levels is very crucial. The study in Diabetes Care in 2013 suggested that reducing added sugar consumption can lead to improved glycemic control in individuals with type 2 diabetes. Chronic inflammation is associated with various health issues. The review in Nutrients in 2018 highlight a potential of a low added sugar diet to mitigate inflammatory responses in the body, contributing to overall health. There is evidence suggesting a link between higher sugar intake and cognitive decline. The study in Neurology in 2017 found that increased sugar consumption is associated with a higher risk of cognitive decline over time. The liver processes sugars and excessive fructose consumption in particular have been linked to non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. The study in the Journal of Clinical Investigation in 2009 demonstrated this connection, emphasizing the impact of sugar on liver health. Sugar can influence mood and behavior. The systemic review in neuroscience and behavioral reviews in 2017 explored the potential connections between sugar consumption and mental health outcome, indicating the need for further research in this area. While these findings provide valuable insights, it's crucial to remember that individuals' responses to sugar can vary, and any dietary changes should be approached with consideration for personal health conditions. Always consult with healthcare professionals for personalized advice. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.